<laughs> well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a very drizzly, drizzle day. It's the, uh, what is it, the 3rd of April today. Yep, these are rainy, cold, windy. Just gonna be one of them wet days. It's all right. It's hump day, almost halfway over. That's crazy. Seems like yesterday was uh, the weekend. I think it's gonna rain. Yeah, I think it is. It's kind of a soaker rain, right? Yeah. That is that soaker rain, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And then you got all these dump trucks, log trucks. Look at that. Wow. Not only do you get a good mudding, but you get a good rock blast along oh, with it. Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, old Mother Nature. She's making up for some lost time out here. Of course, as soon as I turn the camera on, the rain lightens. It was dumping just a second ago. <laughs> well, there, little woman. At least it's not raining here. Well, as soon as I say that, I feel sprinkles hitting me. It followed us. But uh, there's some pretty heavy rain there off and on on the way here today. Woo! There was blue sunshine, and then it was pouring down rain. It was a little of everything. All right, I'm going to roll on down. Love, see you, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Round number two. Successful, yay! <laughs> so, I love it when overnight takes two days, but it showed up bright and early this morning. So, uh, we have one good radiator to be installed in the F3T. Hot ah, dang. <laughs> Check this out the old W800 is back. But now, as a cafe racer, look how cool that is. Clubman bars and everything on it. That thing is so cool. I really enjoyed these things when they were, of course, they look different than this, but I enjoyed them when they were out. But as a cafe racer, that's way cool. Well, hello there, SV peeps. Got a, a shocking little uh, burst of sunshine out here. Here's my, uh, I guess you could call it my bend over job for the day. I've whined about this before. This one has uh, one of the old film strip recall bulletins that last like 12 years or something like that. Well, uh, it only pays 1.2 hours well it takes about twice that to do it so you know going in just go on and bend over <laughs> there's I mean there's nothing you can do you have to do it it's a recall thing and we're we're bound by our BMW contract to honor recalls recalls are forever man I just it's one of those things that you know you want to be mad at but what are you gonna do I mean what are you gonna do you gotta do it this is an 08 R1200 RT but like everything else in about five minutes I will I'll no longer remember it and uh, be on with life speaking of old you know I preached you guys about changing your brake fluid this uh this unit has an abs failure and the light just never stops it's flashing behind the electrical tape there <laughs> i didn't do that the customer did but uh at any rate the customer goes could you turn off that abs light <laughs> uh, i'm sorry i've already hooked up to the bike and uh it is an abs pump failure and what causes them to fail is uh brake fluid gets old and uh eats itself eats the pump you know it's funny is uh, harley had a a recall on that i'm sure you guys have heard about that where they you know if you can prove you've flushed your brakes normally per schedule if the pump is bad they'll replace it otherwise you eat it but anyway what, what it turns out is uh who harley picked to be their supplier of the brake fluid during this little period of time um it turned out to not 
to be up to Harley standards. So instead of, uh, you know, just turning your back to it or whatever, Harley took ownership of it and ate the recall on their own, even though it was a supplier of brake fluid that caused the problem, not anything Harley did. Well, the number one problem was people not performing the services on their bikes. That was it. I don't know, some little clouded thing in my head, I'm thinking, that's not anybody's fault, even if the brake fluid wasn't up to par. If you don't change your brake fluid every two years or 25,000 miles, you got just what you deserve. <laughs> brake fluid is a, uh, it's a tricky thing, and you must... Uh, you must honor the uh, the rules for uh, for doing it. Change your brake fluid, man. But it's a lovely day for a ride, and even though this is a uh, quite a few uh, well, not quite a few. It's a generation or two back on the old RT scale of things. It's still fun to ride. I like to ride anything. I'm not. I mean, there's certain bikes I don't prefer, but I keep that to myself. I keep that to my dang self. Oh, look at that BMW car parked right up front. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> but anyway, he's got a fuel gauge that probably hasn't worked in eons. I think he must have probably stumbled across the bulletin somewhere and says, Hey, they'll replace that thing for free. And that's just what we did. Pretty cool. Get my old faithful. That old Indian hat is haggard. I bought another one, but it doesn't fit the same. So I keep that in a backpack as an emergency hat in case you got that nasty hairdo thing going on. But anyway, thank you guys for coming on for a rip. We'll see ya. You guys remember that asphalt gray? Although it's uh, some form of a dusty asphalt gray. 2018 RT that's been sitting on the back wall there like forever. <laughs> well, it's just been we had <laughs> all it needs is bushings put in the windshield. Well, finally got around to throwing her in there. It shows. I mean, it shows it's in the inventory. I'm just surprised somebody hasn't come down freaking out about it yet. Anyways, I charged the battery. I think I talked to you guys about doing that a couple weeks ago, and maybe not. And uh, yesterday I decided, well, I'm gonna put them bushings in the windshield and send that thing on up front. Kind of out of sight, out of the customer's sight kind of a thing, right? They don't see it, they don't know we have it. But like I say, it shows on our website and everything else. How a dark edition asphalt gray could survive sitting down there for a long time is kind of bewildering to me. Everybody that sees one of these things goes, whoa, it is cool. In fact, I was pondering a 2019 asphalt gray, same RT Limited, but I decided that that Riker was was too fun and something's in demo status I forget which one it is maybe it is the asphalt gray one you know I think it might be so if Kelly and I wanted to take a, a cozy two up trip somewhere we would uh, we'd be able to take that thing home for the weekend another thing I did last night I uh, you guys seen I hooked up that Optimate 3 charger from uh, it's just Honda badge it's it's just an Op Optimate 3 sold through Honda same price as a regular Optimate 3 it's not like Honda jacks the price or anything but uh, anyway that that battery charged up overnight and is all happy again so uh, I'm gonna roll that thing upstairs so it's weird as I, I roll that thing out <laughs> yesterday uh, there was a, a, a the guy that picked up that K1600 didn't want all his old crash parts and just a big old box of parts. So I drug it out to throw them away. And uh, the demo had a 
my old champagne dark edition I had the dealer tag on it so somebody came down there rode the thing or let a customer ride it or whatever and then just stuck it back down the hole that doesn't need anything done to it they should have just kept it <laughs> let's go ahead and keep that thing so uh they're gonna our uh, lot attendant is off today so we're gonna give him this one and here in just a moment my old demo that's gonna be a project for the young lad tomorrow to detail and make them all kinds of purdy again somebody needs to fix that BMW door I heard that thing squeak all the way out here as I'm driving by Wow, there's like no place to put these things. So it's going to be right here for now. Uh, park brake. I think I have paperwork in the back of this thing I need to steal out too. Well, thanks for going along for like around the neighborhood kind of a rip. Got to put the hang tags on here. Got to make her legal. I'll go grab my uh, my old demo. Bring it up here as well. Yeah, how cool that looks. Spider Alley out here. <laughs> awesome. Holy Toledo. Look at this thing before I hit the button. It was 289 here just a week ago, or whatever it was. Ah, an old mighty. <laughs> what are you gonna do? cry about it all you want it's just gonna be what's gonna be truck stops off well i guess it is hump day something about wednesdays this thing is is pretty full but look no lights the sun well it's in the sky just kind of hidden by the clee out but look at this it's completely dry remember the rainy mess we left this morning it is downright beautiful out here well hello there you two How's everybody day go today? Hopefully wonderful. Yes. <laughs> it was another productive day for me today. Got got lots of stuff done. Things out of the way. Little loose ends. Got the radiator on the spider. Just got to put the body work on in the morning. Want to get there and that'll be done. Good. Had a heck of a time purging that thing. Remember I showed you Ryan with an F3 out there purging it. And uh, man, I just couldn't. I had an air bubble in that thing. I couldn't get out. And then finally she she released, she burped, as the, <laughs> as the old saying goes. It was stuck in there. Yeah, yeah you got to shake them. Flip them around. Yeah. Point this them. side, that side. It's crazy. Shake them, massage the radiator hoses, and all of a sudden it will roll. And then the old coolant bottle drops, you fill her up. <laughs> she fought me for a little bit there. I was like, that gum. It's just like the, every little thing turns into a fight. Yeah. For whatever reason with that thing, so anyway, it's all good. All works out in the end. Yeah, heck yeah. yeah. And uh, it turned out the day turned out wonderful. Oh, I know. It got to Vancouver and it was all nice and dry. Yeah. And this Man, dried out. Horrible start to the day and turned out wonderful. It did. It's really really nice. Look at that R nine T taken back, which I'd like to keep. I should. I resisting going and asking what i can get how much i can get it for so if i just if i don't ask i won't know move on to something else but Trevor says he goes well when you bring that back send you home with something else I said, okay all right i guess we got an s1000 rr that needs some miles on it right? those things just get me in trouble i mean i i joke about that i, I can be sane but it's just a i don't know i like i like more of a goof around bike like that R9T Urban, maybe we got a scrambler or something in there. I, I don't know. We'll play with one of them for a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but uh, we'll find out. I I need to go see what what there are. If we get a nice day, I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like, but yeah, every day it changes. Me. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's supposed to be just downpour all this week, and well, it's been well, we had some rain, but it's been kind of nice too. Yeah. So. Little of this, little of that. Heck yeah, kind of like it. I did get you an old RT ride. Yeah. Talked about the woes of putting that film strip in there. Oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I get one of those good. probably one a year at least. 
I think old Kurt down there, he needs, he's got some BMW training. He needs to do an RT film strip. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't sick that on my worst enemy. Yeah. Because it's just one of those things you're just going to lose money on. Yeah. It's just part of the part of the job in the motorcycle technician world. Yep. <laughs> it's funny we're at school. You know, we're even asking the instructor, "Go, what's the deal with the time on that thing?" You know, nobody can do that thing in one point two hours. And he just shrugs his shoulder. He goes, "Like, I'm not going to comment or something." I don't yeah, know. <laughs> nothing I can do about it. It's like the I know. Of B, yeah. But yeah. But uh, I think there's something else that's going to rattle on about. Must not be important. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess on that, since I, uh, I I found the dead end, we'll call it a night. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. You guys take care, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Remember what it was. How could I forget this? I met the gentleman that bought the uh, 2018 R1200 um, GSA Rally. I'm walking up to the counter and uh, just bumped right into the guy. It was kind of cool. So he's loving it. He's about 100 miles on it. He just rode it home. He's got a whole slew of BMWs at home, probably other bikes as well. But he's a big fan. And guess what he also has at home? R9T Urban GS. Oh, my. He loves that thing. That's so much fun. But uh, he's really loving and he's uh, glad he's I, he watches the vlog so um we didn't discuss about talking about names i'll just say it was very nice to meet you yes oh and i forgot to say hi to tom yesterday he was very very nice met him he lives up in morton oh yeah yeah, yeah i forgot kelly was telling me about that yeah howdy 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 yes you guys <laughs> take care all right like I was saying yesterday for a quick little thing, I love it when you guys buy the demos because I get to meet you and hear about it. And like this guy lives some, somewhat close by down the, I think he's in the Portland area or something, but you know, he'll be in for services, whatever, whatnot. So I'll get to bump into him, see how the bike's doing, see the bike. Oh, that's cool. You know, people from far away, they'll send videos and pictures. This is where we went. And I'm like, yay. Yeah. Get to reminisce about the old bike. I know. You you know, you cherish and <coughs> nurture those things for a while. And then you got you to gotta set them free, you know, and you yeah. hope it goes to a good home. And when uh, you guys get them, at least I, I know you guys, it's going to a good home. And you know the history of it, too. Cause yeah. You're always riding along with me. Yep, that's true. All right. All right. See you tomorrow. You guys take care. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Bye.